Howdy folks, we held a trial on my Minecraft server a couple nights ago. Now you may be wondering, Seagull, why? Also we mean Minecraft server. So it's that, for a trial question of that portion, uh, for the server question, yeah, we got SSMP, or in the song is form, Seagull Survival Multiplayer, which is a server for me, my friends, and a couple other people from my Twitch chat, where we just play Minecraft and shenanigans ensue. This trial, it took, it's a little rough, it took a couple tries, but it was fun. Everyone who's in this video is linked in the description, you should all go check them out, they're all funny. And if you want to see more, you can go follow me over on Twitch, that'll also be linked in the description. But, that's it, enjoy the video. Welcome to, we're back to court. I don't as, have music on. As some of you may know, this technically isn't our first trial, but we're gonna ignore the previous one. This is gonna be counted <laughs> as the first official trial of the Seagull SSMP. This trial is between Bug Snacks, Bunger, and a real toucan. Toucan here is accusing Bugs of planting a bomb inside his chest that was rigged to explode. Bugs is being defended by Kusia, and to my left, we have a real toucan being defended by Detective Peso. So now, if our defense over here, Kusia, would you like to give your opening statement? Shouldn't the accusation be first? <laughs> I, don't I know. technically probably. <laughs> okay, we all know Bugs, yeah. right? I believe so. I know Bugs. I know bugs. I can, I'll read because see his lines. The funny little bug boy in our SSMP, or no, in our SMP. God dang it. I can't just say SMP anymore. Everyone knows him for a little trolling, but it's always in good fun. Why would he lie about something as extreme as a bomb? Bugs is a good kid. Cause see if you'd like to go ahead and wrap up your, there we go. Fantastic. Now, if the prosecution, I think is the correct word, but I could be wrong, would like to make their opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning. I'm Detective Pay, so I'll be representing two candidates. I intend on proving Bugs Bunger of guilty of the following. Harassment. Bugs gave a notice of an explosive in Toucan's chest with the intent to frighten and harass him for his own benefit. Attempted robbery. Using the bomb, Bugs attempted to unlawfully take diamonds from Toucan, threatening not to disarm the bomb if he gave Bugs his diamonds. If he did not give Bugs his diamonds. Misconduct. The ABA's model rule of professional conduct 1.2 says states that a lawyer is prohibited from committing acts they know are illegal. As a lawyer, Bugs should have known what he did was breaking the law. Any reasonable person would agree that is an unbased action on Bugs' part. I believe that once this case is this case is over, the court will agree that Bugs is guilty of all presented charges. Thank you. This, this man brought actual this man brought actual things in there. What the ever? <laughs> good evidence. This man, this man did his homework. Can we get the prosecutor? Uh, is it too late to say you have nothing prepared? Um, it's never too late to admit that. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a good thing. Hey, so if you'd like to start this uh court meeting uh with having your clients or whatever come to the stand and explain their story, that'd be fantastic. I want to say like what a week or two ago ish. I was working on the flying machine for my sugarcane farm that I showcased a little earlier today. When I see that everybody in chat is having a lovely conversation with Bugs. And by lovely, I mean not too lovely. He's going around asking, I don't remember exactly how many people, but he was asking people like, hey, you got a bomb inside of you. Give me all your money and I'll disarm it. And then eventually he asks me. He even threatens my machines that I'm working very hard on. And which I've disabled all of them for the time being. But they're pretty complicated. And every time that they mess up, I got to do all that work over again. And he's telling me that there is a bomb inside of me. And instead of being a good man and disabling it free of charge, he wants all of my money in order to disarm said bomb. But anyways, I decide, I decide to take Bugs up on this and challenge him, basically. I, we can't have this man going around threatening our lives in, in hopes that he can make a profit out of it. If you want to make money, make money how everybody else does it. Open a shop and sell goods. Yeah, Don't careful. go around threatening people in their hard-earned diamonds. I think that's it. I don't really know what else to say. Fair enough, you can return to your post. <laughs> Alright, uh, Kustia and Bugs, uh, Bugs, if you would like to take a step at the stand and give your side of the story. Your Thank Honor, you. I'm only trying to help. I needed funds to get equipment to get the bomb out from poor Toucan's stomach. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 
I was being- or I was just warning Toucan that his redstone may be harmed. It was not a threat. That's it. Well, if that's it, feel free to take your post. Peso! Huh? Would you- feel free at this point to throw any evidence or if you want to call a witness, feel free to- This is your time. All bugs with as a as a witness as a witness. So last time, you said a you said a oh few my. things. I'm, uh, I'd like to cue, clear up a few things about your story. If that's okay. <laughs> you were using a metal detector and deducted there was a bomb inside the chest of Toucan. Is that correct? So, uh, <laughs> this is just a normal metal metal detector. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> got it from Walmart. Okay. Okay, you got it from Walmart. Cool. Okay. Um, then you immediately give this information to my client here, and uh, you you immediately give the same information to my client and say you disarm it. Hold on. And say you'll disarm it. Pause that everything. Is... Pause everything. I want to make sure it's clear. I it's the sounds are not emanating from me. There's a freaking rat in the walls, quite literally. Anyways, please continue. <laughs> Ryan, when did you get here? Ryan, when did you get here? I am joined. Ryan Asicle in the call. It's Ryan Asicle. There's a rat in the wall. It's the ants. It's the ants. It's the ants. Rats have a soundboard. It's not a soundboard. I'm having to mute in between because I'm getting ads on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, oh, please continue. Are you guys okay. holding a court? Yeah, we're holding a yeah. yeah, we're holding a trial. Oh, you guys are in court? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, my apologies. I mean, so I didn't funny. mean to I didn't mean That's to bust so in the court. My apologies for the technically not my fault, but for the interruption, please. If Peso, you'd could love to continue, feel free. Okay. So you immediately gave this information to my client here, and uh, you say you just saw under there are two pesos. And Don't worry about it. Given... <laughs> um. That was given you. He gave you all of his money. Is that correct? But you did. He you raised did initially... the two stacks. I lowered the two. He didn't. An... You did initially ask for all of his money. Uh, no. Okay. I have video proof. You can't just say no. <laughs> I was streaming at the time. I don't recall asking for all of his diamonds. I have a video pulled up. I can, like, screen share. Oh, yo! <laughs> hey, okay, if that's your evidence, yeah, no, this- Yeah, we're at this point. Okay, there we go. Okay, quote, And unless you give me all of your money, it's going to explode. Wait, hold on, I gotta open this. Judge. <laughs> give me your- hold on. Bugs just committed perjury. Mm -hmm. There's a bomb in your stomach, oh my god, and unless you give me all your money, it's going to explode. Well, I don't- okay. All right, that is evidence. Does that mean he was lying under oath? That yes. technically does mean he was lying under the SS8, the Seagull Strip oath. I swear, I didn't remember what you want from me, all right. Well, well for now, I'm gonna say, let's play it as he didn't remember. Stressful okay. times, you know, the brain gets a little boggled. Stressful time, okay. <laughs> Understandable. So, yeah, you did ask for all his money, initially. You might have lowered it. That was the initial claim. So, actually, I'm gonna refer back to that video. There's a okay. bomb in your stomach. OMG. Go see, what do you want? Of course. And unless you give me all your money, it's going to. <laughs> um, it kind of speaks for itself, but I'm just gonna. So, you agree, you were not seen in this video, you weren't physically. Like, you didn't see- they didn't, they didn't see you? I was not seen. He was not seen. Mm -hmm. In fact, you didn't even know where Toucan was. Quote, I was in the seagull strip. are you at your house? Quote, Toucan, are you at your house? You didn't know where he was, and, with second, and within seconds, you told him there was a bomb in his chest. For the record, this build is, like, almost a thousand blocks away from the seagull strip. Uh, okay, another quote. Are you near anything important? You might want to move away from it. He he knows of the bomb inside Toucan. He doesn't know where he is. And early in the trial, he testified of telling him immediately. I, yeah, I don't want to be that guy, but I think Bugs' lawyer might have just dipped. <laughs> <laughs> he 
you. At what point in time could you have used a normal metal detector you can get from your local Walmart and Toucan without knowing where he is? I saw it earlier that day. Uh, but you you testified that you <coughs> that you told him immediately. Bless you. I logged on and warned everyone after taking tests. Also, earlier in the trial, yeah. you testified to uh, telling him immediately. I told him right after I found out it was a bomb. And how did you find out it was a bomb? Tests. <laughs> what? <laughs> What kind of scientific tests? Yeah, uh... Don't, don't worry about, like, um... Don't worry about it confusing us, because Toucan here's a doctor. He would know. So, like, give us specifics. What what kind of tests? The council. The council is always watching. Mmm. They told me it was a bomb. Interesting. The council told you it was a bomb. So did you bring the council with you with the metal detector? Yes! And, and then they uh, they just they they just they saw the it was metal, so they just assumed it was a bomb. Oh my god, the sand mix. They, they are always in my inventory. So um, how did do you have any idea of how they would know that? The council are godly beings. They know all. They see all. Though they didn't know it was a bomb. Until you use the metal detector. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out. Like, they know all, but they didn't. Uh, so how? Why did? Why did they not uh, notify you of the bomb? They didn't warn me until it was a problem. They knew before, but they told you after you sc you scanned them with the metal detector. They told me once everyone was infected with bomb. So was that after you scanned right. everyone? And more bombs. Not the right terminology for that. So was that so? Was that after you scanned everyone? Scanned everyone with the metal detector? No. <laughs> it wasn't after. I scanned two can and Penny the cat. Then they told. So they told you after two can and Penny. Oh, uh, nice. After you scanned two can and Penny, seagull. and then you scanned everyone else. Why were you just scanning people with a metal detector? Oh, no. I needed to know who is okay. who has diamonds so I can advertise. You see. I- diamonds aren't metal. <laughs> I'm a businessman, Peso! I- I- Okay, I think I've asked everything You rest- you rest, you rest your case, feel free. I can't speak. Bugs, you can please return to your podium, or your place on the side. Whatever they're called. This table. Your mom- your- I almost called mahogany your maroon table. Your mom. Your mom. <laughs> I think it's time we give Kosia over here to looks. I- Abs I literally was very confused for a good five seconds. Cause see if yeah. you would like to, Your Honor, my lawyer's dead. Ah, oh, that's kind of inconvenient. Cause see if you would like to bring whoever you need to the stand or whatever evidence you need to bring to try to prove your client innocent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, I'm gonna be honest with Your Honor. I haven't been paying attention the whole time. If I throw the case, how much diamonds will you? Um, Man, I can't believe Kosia is still just sitting in dead silence. Okay, cool. So, uh... I'm not a real lawyer. Oh? Wait! Oh, and she's gone! Wait! <laughs> Wait, Bugs' lawyer literally just walked out! Uh... Um... I... Yeah, I... Yeah, she's just gone. Yeah, she, uh, like she, she's okay. I. They're they're gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, I apparently she, it's not a real lawyer. Okay. Your Honor, can I? Ta yeah, let's take a brief recess. Um. Okay. <laughs> um, let me let me go get some more evidence because I forgot to. Yeah. Get this to my lawyer. Or did, I'm gonna say a five minute recess. What time is it right now? So it. Bugs. All right. As we return from this recess, I must ask an important question. I think that'll very quickly decide how the rest of this trial goes. A bugs, now that you are left lawyerless, do you choose to represent yourself or do you choose to forfeit the case? Because you can't go higher. Your on yes, Your Honor. Can I just say? <laughs> I think he's running. I think I, unless Bugs, um, makes his way back to this courtroom quickly, I believe that means he forfeits trial. Yep. 
He pled we guilty did it. To well, technically, we don't care. Technically, the jury didn't need to show up. Um, but thank you for being here. Um, as court draws to an end, we have come to the decision. Technically, we didn't decide. Bugs did be a poor thing. The case that two can here was truly the victim of this situation with a that a bomb was implanted in his chest and or stomach i don't remember which one it was wrongfully it was my chest by I, bugs i trust me i know where it was yeah placed. Or, um, speaking of which uh I, I the cat and the seagull king Yes. I am still unaware if there is confirmed canonically if there's a bomb inside of you. Would either of you like to step inside the machine <laughs> to see if there is confirmed a bomb? I think maybe yeah, I, I would like to confirm if there is a bomb in my chest. Okay, everybody go to the waiting room in the All hospital. Right. RP hospital. We, we did <laughs> it, guys. We did doctor. court RP and we now have to go to hospital RP. Let's go! Oh, uh, I would also advise that anybody uh, not wear any metal when <laughs> inside the machine. So I know you guys are in the waiting room, hopefully, but that's that's just something I'm gonna. Okay, but do. what if the bomb is has metal? Also, technically, if I have to take off, I gotta take off my visor. Hold on. <laughs> uh, you'll be fine if it's inside. I took off the wait. And it just really doesn't like armor. I okay. don't know why. Anyways, I. I gotta take off my visor. I had to take off my visor that technically has metal on it. That's like, like a core. Like a total of like four inches by like maybe like two millimeters by metal. I don't know the volume of that. Oh, it should be fine. Oh, okay, never mind. Like, oh. Never mind. You guys don't have to stare at bald me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure my head didn't rupture if my freaking visor exploded in the whatever machine. Goodbye. What, why are you saying goodbye? You're just going to the you're going to get your chest scan. This not goodbye. It's time to see you later. Uh, next patient, the sequel king. All right. Follow me. I will be going to I'll the doctors. The for everybody. Oh, trust me. This won't hurt. This won't hurt at all. Great. Who doesn't Who doesn't love some good old fashioned hospital RP? It's my absolute favorite. <laughs> Okay. So right. you step inside the machine, face, yep. the forward, face forward, I look at the eyes and mouth, everything like yeah. that. And in three, two, one. Ow. <laughs> my good? Ooh. Doc, am I- that don't oh at me. <laughs> oh, <follow> me. <laughs> it's never good when a doctor looks in your chest and goes, oh. <laughs> I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous, Doc, just to, just to be honest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have I have compiled the evidence. Yes. And I will say this. <laughs> Penny, Seagull, and Peso, you all have a bomb inside of you. Oh, great. <laughs> and and uh, for, for some reason, uh, Bug Snack, you straight up didn't appear on the machine. Oh, <laughs> bugs! Are you are you a person? Like, are you are you? Um, not to get personal, but are you a ghost? Are you are you? I'm is it concerned. is it like is it because he's a bug, so he doesn't have like normal bones? No, I, I, the machine works, so it can test out literally anybody oh. on the server, no matter what, like including animals. If you have All an right. animal, I can take care of it. But yeah, you got pace, so. Bugs, you better tell us right now how do we get these bombs. Yeah, hey bug yeah, hey bugs, you gotta wait. Get back here. Get back here. Cause yeah, bugs, one, how did you plant a bomb in our chest about no one knowing? Oh my god. That's part of the penalty, that. bugs. You have to disarm it as you said you would. I mean I could just remove them free of charge if you guys want. That's oh I well I did well well if that's the case, <laughs> then I won't gun down this man. I guess we'll go in the order that this that the what is it called? That the x-rays took place, so Seagull King, All right. uh, you're up. Come follow me upstairs. I can't wait to have a hole punctured in my chest. <laughs> yeah. It's not a shotgun, which is quite surprising. <laughs> Why do you just have an extra outfit oh. in here? That's the nurse! I see it, okay. You see the bomb. These bugs, I... What did you do to bugs? Okay, whatever. Ow. Oh my god, the bomb that was inside my chest. 
Hey, while you were digging around for the bomb, uh, were my... While you're digging around for the bomb, was, uh, were all my other organs there? Ah, the nurse. Oh, it's the nurse. Yes, please. Take this bomb out of here, it's gross. I was gonna ask you, I was gonna have a souvenir of it, alright. <laughs> well, maybe if you ask the nurse. Nurse, can I have the bomb as a souvenir? Your organs were a little rearranged because of how small you are, but uh, other than that, it, I've rearranged them back to the proper order. That's why it probably hurt a lot more. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nurse, oh, nurse, can I have time for you? That's why they call me nurse. Oh, okay. I'm taking my leave. I got insulted by another person in the medical field. I'm out. Books gave me two glasses of cola. I'll drink these. <laughs> There's probably, there's, <laughs> okay. there's probably like nanobots or bombs or something in it. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's how he gets bombs into people's. Oh, yeah, I might have. I just drank two that. RC colas. Yeah, who need? Who even needs a license? You see how easy that was without. Yeah, a you s wait. You don't have a license. Wait, you don't have a license. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs>